Hello everybody, and welcome to Life After Us. Oh god, high sensitivity, this system. Um, so if you notice it's in windowed mode, blah blah blah, that's because if I put it in full screen, it'll go onto my second monitor for whatever reason, which I don't want it to be there, and it sometimes won't load properly, so we're gonna have to do it in window mode, unfortunately, but I mean... Whatever, man, this is a game, Joel game, it's a horror game, obviously, so it's kind of loud, but it'll be, we'll survive, oh god. Okay, we can jump. I guess we can only go into the play door. Let's go. It's like, oh, E, duh. Yep, there we go. I've been tasked with retrieving the granddaughter of Mrs. Hemington. I've been told the girl is in her late 20s, but due to her mental illness, she has the mind of a child. She is believed to have it returned to Hawthorne Sanator Sanitarium? Where, oh, where she was once something, something. Didn't get to read it all. Okay. There's blood on the floor, that's cool. Uh, looks like there is a another room there with no textures. That's okay. <laughs> Those steps are so loud. Alright, so it looks like a pretty nice place. Right? It's pretty little lit. Oh, paper. Paper! E, dang it. Grandmother sent me here. She says I'm not leaving a proper young. She says I'm not being a proper young woman. She says I'm actually a, ch I'm actually I'm acting like a child, but I'm only a child. She gets so mad when I say that. This place is strange. I mean, it's a sanatorium. I bet it didn't look like this when you first came in. It's pretty ruined now. I can't jump anymore, so that's cool. If I try to jump, my character just walks in place. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can jump again. Whatever, man. And sprinting is fast. <laughs> Hoofing it. Okay. Can't go this way. Got it. This looks like a nice place. There's some blood everywhere. That's 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 pretty innovative and cool. Oh, there's that line right there. Whatever. E again. I mean, your friend today, Doctor Tar. He says I'm very pretty. He kept touching my hair. He must really like it. Okay. That's not creepy at all. And why is the place so well lit? Like here, let me turn my flashlight off. Um, but yet everything's so like decrepit. Another page. Oh! Mr. Teddy should be here. There is a lot of blood in here. I don't like it here. Uh, a mean woman took my took Mr. Teddy away. She said I'm too old for silly things like toys. He's not a toy, he's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him to next to my bed. Find Mr. Teddy. Ew. So I guess we have to go find a teddy bear and bring it back? I swear to god the lights just go out. Oh, that's an ominous red glow. But if the lights just go out, I'm probably going to poop myself. Is that Mr. Teddy? It looks like it. Dr. Tar told me to meet him in his office and said not to tell anyone. He put his hands on, on me. Is that a me? That's a d okay, that's an M. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like we. And he, t and he touched me and smiled. I didn't like where he was touching me, but he said it was part of the examination to make me feel better. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this doctor person He's touching her in places. Oh. Just whatever. Alright, there you go. Oh! I black out and upon waking I find myself still in the asylum, but something is wrong. The dark darkness surrounds me and I feel as if I am not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. Oh! So, uh, so we just decided to take a nap. And we wake up to, oh, this. Yay. Wonderful! Dr. Tar told me I'm very pretty, that I'm not a girl. He said little girls don't look as pretty as I do. He says I'm a woman. Yeah, this doctor is not... He... No. This doctor is no-no. So what's my objective now? Oh, it's dark now. Oh! No, no, no. Dr. Tar came to visit me at night. He kept saying I'm very pretty, then got a, the bed on top of me. He kept telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. 
He got mad when I shouted in pain and hit me. He visits me every night now. Oh yeah, this doctor is no normal doctor. Make me pretty? Hi. You're like a... You're a mannequin. Oh, a bloody mannequin. You're not gonna follow me if I look away, are you? No? Okay. 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 It's dark. It's dark and scary and not okay. So that's why I came in. Looks like everything's just staying here. Whoa! Oh, uh, okay. Yep. That was a thing. He gets so mad if I'm not pretty. He says my head is so small and pretty. I started bleeding after he came to visit me last night. I wish I could go home. I don't like this doctor. Why do they trust him? Can I jump? I can't jump again. I can get over that chair. What the heck is that? Hello? What the heck was that? What the heck was that? <laughs> what, what was that? Okay. So obviously there might be a something in here. So this is where Mr. Teddy was. I told the doctor I keep getting sick in the mornings. He got so mad when I told him that he hit me in the belly. Yeah, it's um, I think the girl we're trying to save got pregnant from doctor. Oh, look. Yeah, let's just shove that in my pocket. I'll keep that for later. Yeah, I'll keep that for later. Oh, God. <laughs> Anybody gonna jump out at me? No? I'm assuming we gotta go put the head on the mannequin. Right? Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. No. Hey! God dang it. Oh my god. Okay. Once more I awaken in that place that can only be hell on earth. There is something holding me here. It will not let me leave and something much worse is looking for me. I must find the girl and escape this hell. So I'm assuming that was the doctor. It looked like he had some kind of bone saw in his hands. I'm surprised we're still alive. That was totally not scary at all. Okay. It is whatever. Looks like we're just wandering again. This is where the mannequin was. It's still there. Oh, this isn't open before, was it? Let's not. <laughs> Let's not. I'm good. This is always a dead end. God, the mouse sensitivity is so high. I'm complaining about mouse sensitivity, but I could die around any corner. I have health, so I mean, I would assume something would come and attack me eventually. Whoa, that wasn't open before. He took my baby. He burns. Why is there more mannequins? Why can I take the baby? Dr. Tar stopped coming to visit me at night once he took my baby. He took him. He said I can't have it because it was it was a mistake. He took my baby boy and put him in a box. I could hear my baby scream as he set fire to him. I want my baby. What? He put it in a box and set it on fire? What? 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 <laughs> I 
don't understand. He burns. Oh, this is the box. My baby was crying when the doctor tried to put him in the box. The crying soon stopped when he set him on fire. I hate Dr. Tar. I hate him. Oh, no. I don't wanna. No. I now understand the horror that this young girl went through while she was here. Such pain and suffering to have been raped by such a monster and to have her child taken only to be burned alive. Why would she come back? I must find her if we are to escape. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is going on? Now I'm assuming we're just gonna go find her. Okay. No monster or anything at all. The mannequin's still in there. The paper in that chair. This is so weird! What is up with the recent horror games I've been playing that are just like creepy as all hell? I keep screaming, what did, what did he do to me? My, my baby, but no one cares. He wants to, to shut me up. Okay. So the blood all over the place. Oh, the blood's not on the wall this time, though. The blood is gone. Maybe I'm the insane one. There's paper on that door. That's where I grabbed the baby from. That's where Mr. Teddy was. Okay. He told me my grandmother died today. She's, he said she fell down the stairs and broke her neck. He said it with a smile. I know he did it. Oh! He said no one will ever come for me now. He said going. He said he's going back to lock me away in the dark room where I'll be no trouble for him ever again. This doctor should be a patient here. <gasps> oh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> what was that? Oh my God! Whoa! Uh, uh. What the heck was that? Well, this door wasn't open before, was it? Oh, this is where the baby... Hmm. Ah! Oh, no, no. No, oh, no. Ah! She's not there. Ah! Hey! Hi, how's it going, woman? Okay. The end? Okay. What the heck? <laughs> Did I just... <sighs> so that game was creepy all the way through. Obviously, there was one occurrence of a monster. There might have been another because I heard that noise before. Maybe he just despawned. Because I noticed the monster did despawn there too. But holy god! So that so we went in, tried to save this woman, found out the woman was raped by a doctor that should be insane also, and the doctor killed the grandmother, and burned the baby, and locked her in a room, in which I died too. <laughs> I don't know. It's... I don't know. So, that was really weird. Um, as you can see, I had no lights on this whole time. So, I hope the monitor's lights were enough. But, holy God. So, thank you ever so much for watching. Just, that was a, that was a something. That was, uh, if you guys want to play this for yourself and experience it for yourself, search up Life After Us, the system, on Game Jolt. Because, holy God. That was, that was pretty terrifying. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. You guys can leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Leave a comment on how screwed up that doctor was. And dislike the video if you didn't like it because my feelings might be hurt. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye <laughs>